What's going on, everybody? Uh, wait just a, a, a few seconds. I want to bring you guys an update. <clears throat> Hope everybody's doing good. So this is a spontaneous uh, video, a spontaneous update. Uh, I'm sitting in my kitchen. I am, or my dining room rather, at my place. And I'm preparing uh, the third installment uh, of this series, um, Having the Right Attitude. So, <clears throat> hey Jamie, hey Sally. So I have some unfortunate news to bring everybody. Uh, we have been informed that somebody that was at the services in person last Sunday tested positive uh, for COVID. Uh, we can't give you the information. We can't give you their name for privacy uh, reasons, uh, but the person is okay. Um, you know, mild symptoms, they are, they are okay. Um, but with that being said, we have discussed with the board and uh, we have to take everybody's health uh, and safety into consideration. And so unfortunately, we've decided to shut the doors for in-person gatherings until further notice. Um, I know that's not what everybody wants to hear. Uh, it's not what I wanted, uh, but we have a responsibility uh, as the leadership. I have a responsibility as the pastor to um, not just preach the word, but to make sure that we can do it in a safe and a clean environment. So, um, you know, just a couple of things. Uh, we are closing the doors until further notice for in-person gatherings. This is across the board for all ministries. Um, our ministry lead should get a, a call or a text or an email or some kind of a notification um, about this. Um, this is just temporary. Uh, we cannot come back at minimum for two weeks, uh, but I'm praying and I don't know that we will not extend beyond two weeks just because, um, you know, just the in and out just kills the momentum and it's just, I don't just don't think it's supposed to be done that way. And so this is a week to week thing that we will monitor and we will keep you posted. With that being said, just because the, the in-person gatherings will not be happening, we are still gonna do a message every Sunday and, and premiere it and, and, and stream it at 9 a.m. and 11 a.m. just like we do whenever people are in the building. And so the church is not closed, the church is not canceled, just in-person gatherings are for now until further notice. Um, I also want to say that uh, <clears throat> if you have been at JMC since last Sunday and you're thinking, oh Lord, have I been exposed, um, you know, we had Celebrate Recovery Monday night, we had um, preschool graduation last night, we had students Wednesday night, before and after every event, the place is cleaned and sanitized, so um, you know, you don't have to worry about that. So we just want you to know that we have been praying and this is the decision that we have decided to go with. And so um, continue to pray for us, continue to pray for the church, continue to stay engaged uh, virtually through Facebook, through our app. And, um, you know, this is, again, this is not what you know, I wanted to do. This is not what we wanted to do, but this is what we feel we, we have to do at this time. So. Uh, share this video, you know, let your friends know, uh, you know, the person who tested positive is okay, uh, minor symptoms, mild symptoms, uh, but we have a mandate and a responsibility um, as leaders to make the best decision for the whole group, and we feel like that, that people's safety is a priority, and so that's why we're making this decision. Um, one other thing, join me on this 21-day fast that I'm doing. Um, me and along with other churches and pastors and leaders. It started August 1st and it's through August 21st. And while you're doing that, pray for COVID to go away. Pray for our nation. Pray for the election coming up. There's so much that we can pray about right now. And so um, join me. You know, if it's one meal a day or two meals a day or maybe a sun up to sundown, whatever, it's between you and God. But join me on this fast and pray with me and touch in agreement because the Lord said we're two or three uh, agree it shall be done and so I'm praying for you I'm praying for our church uh, again you know I, I know it's a little bit uh, unfortunate and an inconvenience but um, just wanted to get the news out there as soon as possible uh, tune in at 9 and 11 on Sundays we will premiere and stream the message uh, on Facebook on YouTube and of course we'll have it loaded on our app so I love you guys I'm praying for you and um, I hope you have a great weekend, and we will see you on Sunday morning.